My name is Shauna Moulton. I mainly work with video and performance. I also make video installation and some sculpture and collages. The main focus in the video and performances is an uh, alter ego that I work with named Cynthia. And she's not so much of a separate character. Um, she's really just me with a wig. She's sort of like a vessel, you know, whenever I have an idea that I need to, I need her to execute that idea. A lot of it dealing with a sort of search for spiritual or um, physical fulfillment. Cynthia is um, this mute character who inhabits this very sort of psychedelic space filled with these objects and they're pretty much objects of consumption, the kind of things that you would buy on late night television. The narratives within these videos and the performances and installations um, focus on Cynthia as she kind of, you know, moves throughout the world using these things. Gloves are incredible. Oh my gosh! Ah! I did. I am sorry. Oh! Each of the control exhibitions are really focused on the artist's own interests and um, practice. And one thing that I thought was really compelling about Shauna's work in particular is it's really ad addressing um, sort of the promise of gadgets and gizmos and, and pieces of technology. She's incredibly attentive to kind of consumerism, so sort of how consumerism intersects uh, with the things that we buy and the, things that, and the promises that the things that we buy make. The exhibition is sort of split in two separate sections. The main multimedia installation is sort of almost inside of Cynthia's journey, inside of Cynthia's mind. Outside of the installation is sort of a faux doctor's office. Shauna's take on what a waiting room would look like. The objects on the table, a lot of them are riding the line between like home decor and medical device, um, or you know, where, where aesthetically those things collide. I'd been inspired recently by waiting rooms in like hospitals or medical offices, and so I wanted it to have that feeling. For the show at YBCA, um, one of the sort of central things that uh, Cynthia is playing around with is a biofeedback machine. Visitors can actually play around with the biofeedback machines as they're embedded in a sculpture um, that is also a couch. My uncle, who had been a, a big influence on me um, around the time that he died, almost 20 years ago now, um, I knew that he was really into biofeedback in the 1970s, so it's also something I'd wanted to try just knowing that he was into it too. I feel like similar to meditation, for me, it, it's something that I could tell would be really good if I like, gave myself the time and patience to really engage it. I'm interested in this line between, you know, looking at it in a humorous way, but also in a very serious, way because for me it is all very serious and but I, th I think for me the main thing is that serious things can you can approach them with humor what look at that <laughs> oh my gosh 